Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next Legacy United review. Today we're looking at the Target exclusive Origin Wheeljack. Um, now, this was supposed to come originally in the Buzzworthy Bumblebee packaging, but that line was axed by Target before he came out. So. No packaging like we got with Origins Bumblebee and Origins Jazz. But still, very cool. Glad to have it. Glad we have the three um, that had their specific Cybertron vehicle modes in the first episode of G1. Vehicle modes look great. As we've seen with Bumblebee and Jazz, robot modes, you know, a little more to the imagination, but... The whole purpose of these was the vehicle modes. So they started there and made the robot out of that. So some acceptance is required. But as usual, we'll take a look at the other packaging. And here you can see it's our normal Legacy United packaging. Origin Wheeljack. And there is his ro uh, vehicle mode. Legacy United, Voyager class in different languages, Transformers, Generations, Takara Tomy, and Hasbro. On this side, you can see robot mode. Again, very cool. Looks really nice. On this side, our artwork for Legacy United, 40 years. On the top, Legacy United, forgive the dust, it's been sitting <laughs> for a while before I finally got to this review. On the bottom, barcodes with a whole bunch of different wording of legal stuff i'm guessing and on the back we have our product shots and here you can see robot mode vehicle mode i've already got the accessories on because so you can see there and you can see sort of origin bumblebee fits in there and we will get to that and our warning small parts don't eat anything in multiple languages so that is it for that packaging and now we will get into, oh, sorry, got some things that sort of pop around out here. Get into looking at his vehicle mode, and I already have the blast shield on that he comes with. Clear blue plastic, looks really good. Here are his little, uh, and they, they do pop off, but those little um, sort of... <laughs> spin things i don't know what to call them because i think he used them when the decepticon tetrajets were trying to stop him and bumblebee yeah very cool looks really good got his weapon up here here you can see the bottom of it here's the back here's that and we'll take this off and we'll deal with this a little later and if you I don't know if you can see, but I've already got Bumblebee in there, and we'll show that off here in a bit. But let's look. There's some nice detail with the silver and the red and the blue. Got the light green and dark green around it. Some lots translucent, so there is that. But still, not bad. Not bad at all. And he's got these little pieces ports on the side here and what we can do with that is the five energy um bulbs that's about what i'm gonna call them that came with origin bumblebee can actually store right onto there now i i know it shows that there it could fit six However, I double-checked, and Bumblebee only came with five. But, get everything a little bit straighter. There we go. And there he is, holding those um, energy conductors, or whatever we want to call them. <laughs> and I knocked a bunch off. But, that is very cool. I do like that. And, yeah. So, really nice. Now, another thing that we can do is 
his blast shield, we can, and it's a little rough, but we can take it apart, and it's, oh, and it's going to go on the other side. Same thing with this one. Oh, I don't like these. All right. And these. And now what we have, <laughs> and it's, I know it's not right, but it's, it's a road. It, it's a road. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> and yeah. So I usually just, I tell you, they, they come off very difficult. <laughs> but I usually just leave it, honestly, like together like this. And when I have him in vehicle mode, he I just put the blast shield on. And it, the clear plastic does get a lot of fingerprints on it so yay wonderful uh, we're gonna remove the gun and before we transform it we're gonna pop the back open and there you can see bumblebee in there and you you've got to have him in there right and otherwise it's not going to fit together very well but you know, once you got him in there like he should be, fits together very nicely. But now we'll squeeze all this back together. So there's Wheeljack. Now we'll get Bumblebee back in his full mode. Come on. There we go. There we go. So there's Bumblebee. And here's Jazz. So there are the three origin figures all together. And you can see just how much bigger Wheeljack is. But they had to do that in a way to get Bumblebee to fit. And I really do like the fact that they did that. So, yeah. Very cool. So we'll move them out of the way, and we'll get down to transforming Wheeljack. Now, whoa, just one second. All right, forgive me, had a little dizzy spell there. Now what we want to do, I'm going to untab this, sort of bring this down like this, get that out of the way. I'm going to untab all of this, bring this down, then we can un disconnect all of that. Now we can start to disconnect some of this other stuff. Bring it up, then we can rotate all this out like that. Then we can disconnect that, sort of bring it up. We're just going to leave everything like that for now, and we're going to start working on the legs. We want to separate all this. We're going to bring one leg down, push it together. Now this is all going to come up like this. I want to bring the foot out, though. That will come down like that. We can bring this up. This is going to come up like this. And then this will all come up, sort of. And there's a tab right here. I don't know if you can see that. That goes into that slot right there. Once that's in there, this will come down and fit just like that. We can spin the toe around. And there we have that leg done. And yeah, it doesn't look the greatest, but it's quite all right. Then bring this up. So yeah, when you're going into vehicle mode, it's sort of, you want to unhook. And this is going to be 
sort of sitting at a weird angle into robot mode bring it all together again with this bring this together bring this together bring this foot down bring that together now with this this is going to come up and down and whoops i'm going the wrong way with it this is actually got to go this way tab those pieces together bring this down bring it up tab that together and this will then tab in and we can rotate the foot around and there's the legs all done now we'll work on the rest of them so start by separating these arms we want to bring them up and we can actually remove these for now but sort of bring them up open them up like that so we can bring them down now what we can do is bring the head up and it's going to tab right in there we can bring rotate the arm around bring out the fist once i can get a good hold of it <laughs> there we go we can close this and this should tab right in there and just rotate the fist there's that oh rotate the waist too <laughs> all right again bring out the fist close this rotate bring it down rotate rotate now the backpack so this is going to tab in back here and this sort of comes up oh, before that we want to bring these up because this big tab is actually going to sit within those so you want to make sure that they're situated in the right spot just like that and then the final bit we do rotate his head and there we go and there we have origin wheeljack in his robot mode and for what it is it's not bad in yeah it's not the wheeljack we're used to in his robot mode but i mean they had to do something in order to get the proper origin vehicle mode so i'm happy with what they did I'm very happy with what they did. Now these, you can put them back on here, or they do store back here. And that's where I tend to put them. And then with the gun, you got you can hold it, or if you want, you can plug it in up here. And that's sort of what I do. Because he is the scientist, so he's not... He's more in the lab doing stuff, is how I feel. So having that up there i i like that better um this piece you can oops tab in on the sides i don't really like this <laughs> it just it makes it back heavy he's already kind of back heavy but yeah so let's take a good look at him so let's move that aside so my camera can focus very good wheel jacky head he's got i don't know if you can see that there we go blue on the eyes that gunmetal gray for the visor and partially on this a little bit of silver got his chest piece looking really good big old forearms them chonky legs yeah very nice uh, articulation let me take this off so <laughs> head can rotate all the way around like we saw got some wiggle can look up that far down not really arms come out that far can do full 360 but the backpack gets in the way it is a very hefty backpack bicep swivel 90 for the elbow and as you saw with transformation we do have wrist again with transformation we've got waist legs only kick forward that far 
so not very much. Kick back only that far. Just under the full Van Dam. Got thigh. We got slightly over 90 for the knee. And the feet are on a ball joint, so you get all kinds of pivot and movement. And it is actually rather nice. And I do like that. I like that a lot. So it is not, I mean, in my opinion, for what it had to do for vehicle mode, I don't think it's bad at all. I really don't. And if you want, you could put these on. I'm just going to put one on. And he can hold them like that. I actually might store it like that or have them on my shelf like that. Just so that way these little conduits aren't just sitting on the shelf. So, yeah. Definitely, definitely like that. Well, for comparison, here we have Origin Bumblebee in his robot mode. And Origin Jazz in his robot mode. And they look really good together. I like this. Um, it'd, be, it'd be nice if some of the others had some kind of like Origin um, transformations. But I mean, the only ones we really saw were these three on the Autobot side. The Tetra Jets and Soundwave in his sort of lamp post mode, but still not bad. I I do like this. Um, it is definitely like more set on for the shelf. I think typically for um, the vehicle modes. However, I do like sort of switching it up, but yeah. So. Um, as for finding this guy, I don't know if he will anymore. I've had this for a few months, and it's just been a while since I could finally get to it. I do apologize. I know others had already gotten to their reviews on this. I'm so behind. I'm still working to get caught up. I still plan on doing a review on my Desaurus. I That is coming up. That might be the next one. I just don't know exactly when. But as for this... Keep checking, find it at a decent price. Um, maybe some are still available at your local targets. I don't know. I know two months ago, no, a month and a half ago when I checked, I still saw a few on the shelves. And these were typical shelf warmers, honestly. So if, you, if you're interested in it, definitely pick it up. I... I love every iteration of stuff like this, so these were a must-have for me. I grew up on G1, and then um, Beast Wars was my teenage years, and then it's just been others after that. So I've always found something that I really liked from nearly every iteration that has come out. Transformers Energon we don't talk about and the live action movies there were things that I absolutely hated about those and I think I've talked about that on my channel before but for those who are new I don't like the human element it was too much of it and I don't like the designs of the robots especially their faces so but other than that great figure in my opinion yes it has the downside of the chonky robot mode but to become the box that it is of vehicle mode had to be done like this so i'm still happy with it but yeah so that is going to be it for me as always i want to say thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you all later